In this video, I will quickly determine the irreducible representations of the six vibrational modes of formaldehyde. So we have uh, CH2O here. And first, we need to have the character table of the uh, C2V point group. And then uh, we just uh, um, apply the symmetry operations to the molecule. So if we apply the uh, identity um, operation on the molecule, that means doing nothing. All four atoms, one, two, three, four, all four atoms remain in the original position. So we put a number four here. But if we do a rotation about the C2 axis, only two atoms the carbon and oxygen atoms remain in their original position. So we put two here. Sigma V, uh, well, again, this is sigma V here. This sigma V contains uh, this carbon and oxygen atoms. So uh, these two atoms will remain uh, in their original positions after the um, reflection about this sigma V. So we put two here. Uh, how about the sigma V prime? Sigma V prime contains all four atoms, so a reflection with respect to this sigma V prime will leave this four atoms, all of them, uh, in the original position, so we put four here. And then we need the characters of X, Y, and Z. We need the sum of this, and they are here. We have X, Y, and Z. So basically, we just sum up this uh, three rows. Uh, for X, it's B1, so 1 here, Y, B2, there's a 1 here, and Z1 here. So we sum up the three characters, and then we just drag it from left to right. Again, if you just want to uh, look at uh, the uh, sigma V prime symmetry operation, we just double click this. We're adding up this Z, this X, and this Y. The sum is negative 1. Oh, I'm sorry, the sum is 1. And then we multiply this row. By this row, we get a new row. So again, this 12 is just the product of 4 and 3. This negative 2 is the product of 2 and negative 1. And why is that? Again, uh, we have four atoms in this molecule. Each atom may have x or y or z motion. So there are a total of 12 motions. So out of this 12 motions, we can have this uh, uh, characters uh, corresponding to different symmetry operations. And then we uh, multiply this uh, uh, this row by the number of symmetry operations. In this case, it's just one, 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 one. So we basically just uh, uh, multiply every single number in this row by one. We get uh, the same four numbers. And then we multiply these four numbers by uh, the row of A1, the row of A2, the row of B1, and then the row of B2. So we do it here. So let me show you this. We double click this cell. It's B$13. So this number multiplied by B4. B4 is right here. That's the first character of A1. All right. So we do that. And then we just use the Excel function to fill out the entire table here. We get the characters for A1, A2, B1, B2. And remember, we're talking about actually 12 motions of the four atoms. And then we sum up the four numbers in the A1 row. We get 16. So again, this is just the sum. And we drag it down. We get uh, uh, the other sums here. The sums divided by the order of the C2V point group. Again, the order of the point group is simply the sum of all symmetry operations. We have a total of four different symmetry operations. So again, 16 divided by the order 4, we get 4. So same here, we just drag it down. And this tells us the 12 motions of the four atoms can form four A1 irreducible representations, 1, A2, 3, B1, and then 4, B2. And uh, we need to subtract the three translations and three rotations. Uh, but how do we do this? We get back to the character table. And this x over here, that's the translation in the x direction, translation in the y direction, translation in the z direction, rotation about x, rotation about y, rotation about z axis. So basically, we need to subtract 1, a1. So that's the translation in the z direction. We need to subtract 1, a2. 
that's the rotation about z and we need to subtract 2b1 1 and 2 okay so uh, also uh, we need to subtract 2b2 again the translation in the y direction has a b2 symmetry the rotation about the x axis also has a b2 symmetry so we need to subtract 1 1 2 2 correspondingly so that's what we did here so 4 minus 1 and then y minus 1 3 minus 2 and 4 minus 2 so in the end we have a total of six vibration modes we have three a1s we have 1b1, we have 2b2s. And then I'm going to show you those vibration modes. So A1, this is symmetrical stretching. It's totally symmetrical, so it's A1. Uh, this is CO stretching, and it's also totally symmetrical. It's A1. Another A1, mostly it's the bending of this CH2. The bond angle changes here. And then we have a B1. This is out of plan bending. So you have uh, this uh, um, oxygen atom moving towards you and this carbon moving away from you and you have this two hydrogen atoms moving uh, towards you this is a b1 symmetry because uh, if you look at this uh, uh, imagine this sigma v this motion is symmetrical with respect to this sigma v but this is anti-symmetrical with respect to sigma v prime again sigma v prime contains this four atoms and then we have B2 here, B2 here, uh, and um, uh, you see a total of six vibration modes. And we assigned a irreducible representation to each of the six vibrational modes.